Toby, you guys are off to a solid start, cross-country, men's and women's teams in 2019. Before we talk about uh, how the season opening uh, meet went uh, out in Cheney, give us your recap of the first two weeks of training. You brought in uh, uh, some new folks, some new faces, uh, but a lot of returnees as well. So mm -hmm. uh, just talk about how that group has come together and how the startup training camp went. Yeah, training camp was great this year. No smoke. I'm sure I'm not probably the first person that's mentioned that. And uh, so that made training camp a lot more enjoyable. Didn't have to adjust to things. Uh, brought in um, a good group of freshmen and transfers, as well as uh, got some people onto the team. Um, Becky George, who was here at Whitworth last year, but uh, didn't run. And so, um, and then brought a lot of people back, a lot of returners, and uh, they melded real well together. And uh, we have 15 men, 15 women, and a great group on both sides. And in terms of health, uh, where is the team right now in terms of overall health and, and availability? Yeah, uh, when it comes to athletics, you're always going to have people dinged up. And uh, but for for the most part, I think um, you know we're we're in a good place. I, I think right now we've got two people on two men and two women um, not practicing completely. And so you know, 13 out of 15 on both sides is a, a good a good ratio, I guess. You open the meet at the Clash of the Inland Northwest. That's become an annual event, an uh, opportunity to kind of slide into the season in a way uh, with a, a little bit shorter distance races. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about how the team performed at that meet. Yeah, it's always hard. You know, that first meet, a couple things. We, we only have 10 days of practice prior to that first meet, and so really they're not even kind of got their feet underneath them uh, when that first meet comes around. And then you're going against, you know, some Division One athletes that uh, are on scholarship as well as they come in usually about a week earlier than we do. So they got a little bit of an advantage um, on us. Um, but our athletes competed very well. It was a hot day. Uh, even though we ran at 10 in the morning, it, it, was, it felt a lot uh, warmer than the, whatever the temperature said it was. And, um, but the athletes performed really well. We got an idea of you know, where the new people are, um, kind of in their training, as well as where the returners are. Kind of a similar situation going on this weekend. Your Friday night, you're going to compete in a meet down in Colfax, mm -hmm. hosted by Washington State. So mm -hmm. you'll see a lot more mm -hmm. of those Division One caliber athletes. What are you hoping to get out of this coming weekend? Yeah, it's always great to be where we are in uh, Spokane, where we're far away from a lot of our Division Three uh, rivals, which is unfortunate. But we have the opportunity to compete against a lot of Division One athletes, as well as some NAI schools like Lewis and Clark State. So. Uh, this week we'll go down and we'll compete on Friday and uh, we're going to actually work on some things. We're going to use it more like a practice than it is a meet and honestly almost all the teams will be because um, a lot of teams will be competing the next weekend just like we will and so uh, a lot of teams are going down there because uh, WSU is hosting the NCAA West Regionals for Division I uh, later in the year and so a lot of teams are just coming to preview the course and we're just going to use it as a time to work on uh, race strategy.